Erica, that teen says he and his friends are banned for life from the Simon Mall, and we went looking for answers. At area malls, it's all about shopping, finding sales, and seasonal savings. That's all while mall operators are also focusing on safety and security. But are the rules to protect you and others clear and easy to follow? It was in the middle of the afternoon. He said we weren't doing anything wrong. We were just sitting on a bench and three security guards walked up to us and asked what we were doing. Lisa Patterson found out her son had been arrested for trespassing at Castleton Mall. But what led to that arrest has her still scratching her head. They were like, so what are you guys doing? I was like, nothing. I was like, we're going to ask you guys to leave. Corey and his two other friends, all under the age of 16, were at the mall and had just finished eating at the food court. They complied with the security guard and left the mall, but because none of them could drive, they say they were waiting for a ride. But all of a sudden, the police show up. We standing like, say right outside the mall, waiting for him. And then police and security guards pulled up, and they like, uh, we, we say you can't come back over here. We were trying to tell them that his brother's in the car, and we had to go talk to him, but they wouldn't give us time to just put us in cuffs. All three teens charged with criminal trespassing, but the official police report doesn't give any details from the other side. So we reached out to Simon Malls for details on the incident, but they declined to talk to us. Corey's mom even called Castleton Mall herself. The only thing they told her is the boys didn't follow mall rules. It just hurts that you teach them to do the right things. He's a good kid. He didn't have weapons. They didn't have any drugs. They weren't being rowdy. They weren't playing around. They were sitting down. Why were you watching them on camera? And why did you approach them because they were sitting on a bench? It, it just hurts. But what are the policies? For the past few months, Call 6 Investigates has been digging into Simon Mall's policies and practices here in Indianapolis. They own Castleton, Fashion Mall, and Circle Center Mall, along with more than 300 other shopping centers across the U.S. The only list of Simon's mall rules we could find is this short list of policies on their website. It lists things like no solicitation, no weapons, and no loitering. But they don't go into detail on any of them or describe what happens if you break them. The policies go on to say that any local mall can change their code of conduct at any time. We again asked Simon for an interview about their policies. They responded to our email and say, while safety and security is our main concern, we don't discuss our policies. We'll pass on this one. IMPD tells us Simon malls are considered private property. It's up to their protocols and their rules and their list, but they can trespass a person from their property just like somebody else could trespass another person from their property. Now, Simon, malls here wouldn't confirm to us if those teens are banned from the malls. They say they don't discuss things like that. The local law enforcement officers we talk to say it is a common practice at the malls. So, Paris, what do police suggest if you bring your kids to the mall? Erica, they suggest chaperoning your kids. Make sure you watch them while they're at their mall. Just don't drop them off and then drive away. Erica. Paris, thank you.